happy morning children today i am going to explain second term portion mathematics term 2 see in this term we are going to learn uh, sixth chapter first chapter is geometry second one is numbers third one is patterns fourth one is measurements and fifth one is inter concept sixth one is information processing okay this is a, a chapter name okay and now we are going to learn unit 1 geometry unit 1 geometry geometry is a chapter name okay now i am going to recall a point line line segment and ray okay this is recall point line line segment and ray first see what is point a point is an exact position on a plane surface okay this is called point this is point means just one dot one point that's all okay a point is an exact position on a plane surface okay this is a point and the next see line this is line a line is a set of points in a straight path that extends in opposite direction without ending okay this is a line a line is a set of points in a straight path that extends in opposite directions without ending okay this is one direction and this is another direction okay this is opposite direction this opposite direction is going on that is without ending that is a meaning for okay without ending this is this arrow mark refers what means this going on without ending okay that is opposite directions without ending okay okay this arrow mark refers this direction is going on without ending without ending okay this is called line and the next see line segment okay this is line segment a line segment is a part of a line a line segment is a part of a line between two end points how many end points here two end points two end points okay this is called line segment okay this is one end point and this is another end point clear this one this is one end point and this is another end point one two two end points here okay that is called line segment that line segment having two end points one two two end point this is called line segment a line segment is a part of a line part of a line between two end points okay clear this one this is a line segment and the next c ray this is ray okay a ray is a part of a line that has one end point how many end point here one end point and extends in one direction without ending okay this one this is one end point this point is a one end point this is one end point and this is one end point and extends in one direction without ending this arrow marks refers this is one direction it's going on without ending without ending okay that is the meaning for this arrow mark okay and this is the end point and this is the end point clear this one and this is the end point and this is the direction without ending this is one direction without ending this is the meaning for ray okay i hope you all understood this uh, point line line segment and ray clear this one and then now see this is one point this is one point and then this is one straight line this is one straight line this is one straight line okay this is one direction and this is another direction this two direction is this two direction is endless okay is going on direction without ending without ending that is the meaning for this arrow mark okay this is point and this is line and this is line segment and this line segment is a part of a line this line segment having 
टू एंड पॉइंट वन टू टू एंड पॉइंट दिस इज कॉल्ड लाइन सेगमेंट रे दिस पॉइंट एंड देन नेक्स्ट रे वन एंड पॉइंट एंड देन अनदर दिस इज दिस आर मार्क रिफर्स दिस डायरेक्शन इज विदउट एंडिंग दट इज दिस इज रे दिस इज रे क्लियर दिस वन दिस इज पॉइंट एंड दिस इज लाइन and this is line segment and this is ray clear this one okay and the next see next see here next i am going to explain a uh, last term we learned that uh, types of angle okay uh, types of angle types of angle first see zero angle the zero angle means that is equal to zero degree this is degree zero degree okay and next see acute angle acute angle means less than 90 degree less than 90 degree this is acute angle okay and the next see right angle this right angle means this right angle is equal to 90 degree exactly 90 degree okay exactly 90 degree mean that is a right angle and the next see obtuse angle obtuse angle means the angle is between 90 degree and 180 degree 90 degree and 180 degree this is called obtuse angle and the next is straight angle the straight angle is equal to 180 degree that is exactly 180 degree okay 180 degree this is called straight angle okay again i'm explain this one this is types of angle first one is zero angle acute angle right angle obtuse angle and then straight angle clear this one zero angle means exactly zero degree that is equal to zero degree acute angle means less than 90 degree right angle means equal to 90 degree and then obtuse angle means between 90 degree and 180 degree between okay you know the meaning for that word between okay the next is straight angle means equal to 180 degree that is exactly 180 degree okay this is a types of angle and then next time i'm going to explain see this is complementary angles complementary angles and supplementary angles complementary angles and supplementary angles first see what is complementary angles complementary angles means when the sum of the measures of two angles okay sum means you already know add okay s yes, u m okay see the word s yes, u m means sum what is the meaning for the word sum means add okay when the sum of the measures of two angles how many angles here two angles now you add this two angles you get 90 degree this 90 degree means that is the complementary angle okay complementary angles the pair of angles are called complementary angles and the pair of angles is called the complementary angles complementary angle means when the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree this is very important number okay 90 degree angle 90 degree don't simply write 90 okay uh, you must write 90 degree this degree is refers only angle okay 90 degree okay complementary angle means when the sum of the measures of two angles now you add any two angles you get 90 degree means that angle is called a complementary angles the pair of angles are called complementary angles okay simply uh, uh, recall that one complementary angle means that is 90 degree that's all okay and the next to see supplementary angles supplementary angles supplementary angle means when the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degree okay when the sum same meaning sum means add add when the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degree 180 degree the pair of angles are called supplementary angles this is called the supplementary angles clear this one supplementary means 180 degree complementary means complementary means what angle 90 degree okay clear this one complementary means 90 degree and then supplementary means 180 degree 
sum of the measures of two angle is 180 degree and then now see the example for uh, complementary angles this is one complementary angles now you add these two angles that is this is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree okay now you see the angle uh, uh, b o c b o c is 60 degree and then a o b is 30 degree a o b is 30 degree okay okay this is angle angle a o b plus angle b o c that is angle a o b plus angle b o c okay that is 30 degree plus 60 degree 30 degree plus 60 degree what we get 90 degree this is a complementary angle now you sum sum of the two angles okay sum of the two angles you get 90 degree this is called complementary angles okay and then next see that uh, uh, supplementary angles this is uh, now see this x o y x o y is 130 degree that is 130 degree and then x o z is 50 degree x o z is 50 degree play this one now you see 130 degree plus 50 degree is 180 degree that is 180 degree play this one now you see the sum okay sum sum of the two angles you get 180 degree mean that angle is called the supplementary angles okay this one okay and the next to see exercise number 1.1 exercise number 1.1 see now you write the measures of the complementary angles of the following angles okay you already know complementary means you must use only what degree 90 degree okay this one complementary means 90 degree okay and this uh, question is having 5 uh, subdivision 1 2 3 4 5 okay this one okay and uh, now see this one <coughs> a term to standard 5 mathematics and then unit 1 geometry you already know what is complementary angles and supplementary angles now see the exercise number 1.1 now you measure the uh, complementary 90 degree 90 degree angles of the following angles okay complementary means you, you already know 90 degree okay don't forget this uh, uh, degree 90 degree now I'm going to find see this uh, 45 degree 45 degree so the solution complementary means here use only 90 degree 90 degree minus 45 degree okay you don't write simply the numbers you must write the degree this degree is refers angle don't forget this point children this is very important point you don't write the number simply you must write the degree that is very important okay that is 90 degree minus 45 degree okay is equal to 90 degree minus 45 degree you get 90 minus 45 you get 45 degree okay is equal to 45 degree therefore the complementary angle of 45 degree is equal to 45 degree okay this is a way to find the complementary angles. Okay. And the next to see. Second question is 30 degree. 30 degree. Now see the solution. 90 degree minus 30 degree is equal to. 90 minus 30, 30 degree is 60 degree. Okay. 90 minus 30 is equal to 60 degree. Therefore, the complementary angle of 30 degree is equal to 60 degree. Okay. This is a way to find the. A complementary angles okay of the given angle and then next to see see the second question like that you saw uh, another problems okay and the next to see that uh, uh, question number two write the measures of the uh, supplementary supplementary means what angle children 180 degree okay 180 degree of the following angles supplementary means 180 degree complementary means 90 degree okay and then now see our uh, first question is 80 degree so the solution 180 degree minus 80 degree 180 degree minus 80 degree is equal to 180 minus 80 you get 100 100 degree the four the supplementary angle of the 80 degree is equal to 100 degree 100 degree okay and the next to see next question subdivision 2 95 degree so the solution 
180 degree 180 degree minus 95 degree is equal to 85 degree okay now you see 180 degree minus 95 degree is equal to 85 degree okay this is a way to find the supplementary angles of 95 degree is equal to 85 degree clear this one okay thank you children take care